Hello, everybody. This is Prince Mouse, and welcome back to Dark Souls. Let me adjust my chair. So, in the last episode, um, I actually don't know exactly what happened. I can't remember. I guess I'll just have to figure it out now. Anyway, um, I changed a couple things on my capture card so it should look a bit better. It's not running at 30 frames, I don't think. It's running at a little bit lower than that. But I think it does look like way better. Anyway, um... Let's finally go into the thingy. Yay. Yes, my character my character up there is like level 170 something. I'm in a pretty good spot of that character though. I'm making him do basically whatever I feel I want to use a weapon for, so he's like 30 stats in all of his um like 30 with all his attack stats, pretty good. Um, oh, right, that's another thing uh, that happened as soon as I stopped recording. And I couldn't really edit it in. There was, uh, the Firekeeper is dead all of a sudden, Slot and Lawtrek is gone. So, that's kind of weird. Uh, I wonder what happened. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. But, we also got uh, the Dingy set as a result. So, a lot of people like using the dingy set, so I'm gonna wear it real quick just to see if you guys like it. Looks pretty good. I like it all together. It looks pretty nice. Maybe except for the hood. I don't know, the dingy hood doesn't look very appealing to me for whatever reason. It could just be me, though. Oh. Can't really night set. Why's it gotta be so heavy? Okay, whatever. I'll just take that off. Um, in this episode, did we ring both the bells? I can't. I don't think we did. Oh no, we did. All right. So we're gonna talk to this guy then. Ah, hello. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? I am the primordial serpent, King Seeker Frank. Close friend of the great Lord Gwyn. Chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? Sure. Very well. Then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn. So that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. Alright, so I guess we're do that. I actually didn't talk to him again. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Okay, so we can do a couple things here. We can feed him items, and he'll give us souls in return for it. So if there's anything that you don't really want, like a Titanite that doesn't help you because it's not the right kind, or some junk items, I personally just keep like every single armor unless it's a copy like this. And yes, that's the noise he makes whenever he... It's an item. It's kind of weird. Talk Those to him again. who seek the realm of lords must brave Sen's fortress, a deadly house of traps. Many have gone before you, but none have returned. Fate has chosen you, but proceed with caution. Okay. Now I'm gonna do. Well, actually, no. Never mind. Um, 
What feeding Titanite does is that it breaks it up into the smaller forms of Titanite. So, Farewell, if you, uh, oh, okay, whatever. Um, if you have Titanite chunks, you'll break it to large Titanite uh, shards, and then break it to large Titanite goes to Titanite shards. You can't break it any further than that. The plus three, yay! All right. Um. All I have is Havel's Ring. I don't want to use Havel's Ring and become dependent on it by accident. That would kind of suck. I've done that a lot. I'd rather not do that. So, we're going to go up here now and go to Sen's Fortress. Um, but before we do that, there's um, a bonus area that I want to deal with right now. I also kind of want to... Change up my armor a little bit. Can I wear that? Of course not. Oh god. Really? It's like barely any metal. Are you serious? Okay, good. So, we're gonna run over here. And, uh... A thing to know about that bonfire, now that the firekeeper is dead, the, the bonfire can't be lit. So that bonfire is unusable, at least for a little while. But we'll fix it up in a little bit. Ow. Oh, that kind of hurt. Let me heal. There we go. That parry looked kind of weird. Dead. Um. There is a couple places that can uh, work as a secondary bonfire for now. It will be a bit more out of the way as a result of this, but it's whatever. So I'll, I'll, we're going to rest at this one near... Uh, what's his face down here? And you can see that that gate is now open from uh, the second bell that we that we rung okay, tonight. Um... So yeah, that's Sense Fortress, but we're not going to go there yet. We're going to go to another area, and I'm just going to see if I can upgrade anything. Oh, I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? I could produce divine weapons with a flame such as that. Completely forgot we have the divine ember. Thanks for that. You've made a fine decision. You soon shall see. Cool. So, um, I have none of these. Let's buy a little. Let's buy six, I think. Artisan. It's five. Okay. I'm not gonna upgrade my shield yet. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Alright, so, um, you can give embers to certain blacksmiths, but only some will take them. Uh, this is just a quick thing about embers whenever you obtain them. They are key items, so they can't be dropped, and, um, depending on the blacksmith, the ember will kind of tell you by its description which one it goes to, if you find the right one. And if you talk to them, they will say something like, oh, I can't use that bond, that, I said bonfire, um, Oh, I can't use that ember because it's, like, magic. I don't deal with magic, or, you know, vice versa. If it's a divine ember, I don't deal with divine stuff. So, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Right. Um. Alright, I know where it is. I was just trying to remember where the thingy was. Alright. Now, again, um, because this is Dark Souls and how it's structured, you can do this earlier. In fact, if you wanted uh, Law Trek to be an ally summon, you would have to do this earlier. But I don't think he can be because he's left the bonfire and um, we know he's a traitor now. Way to stab at a shield, Ian. That was real smart. There we go. So we're gonna go to that as fast as possible because um, we're already like a couple minutes in here. We're like ten, 10 minutes in actually. 
The area is not very long, by the way. But uh, I will show this off if you're not doing a magic build and you want to do a, a perfect build or like a non-magic build or some, something like that. Basically anything that doesn't do magic, it's arguably the best uh, path for weapons to go down. Oh, and I didn't pick this up yet. Oh, that was right. Oh god, I almost died and that would have been bad. Oh, you're okay. Ah, bitch. Here. There we go. Again, I make parrying look easy. I shouldn't do it as much, but I do it. Oh wow. Thanks for tying my shard. I could have used that like five seconds ago. Um I make her I may look make uh I may make parrying look easy, but it's it's kinda difficult to get your first time. God damn it. Um yeah, night shield. Let me do this. It's pretty good. It's one of the few shields that are normal and have a 100% physical block. So, yeah. If you wanted that, which a lot of people may want that for a number of reasons. One, you know, not taking damage, and then two, it's a metal shield so it can take a hit a little bit better than most shields. <laughs> and I didn't quite kill that boar last time. I think that's going to be a bit of an issue. But now that I fell from here, um, we can use these um, alluring skulls we just got. So attract certain type of enemies. We throw them like fire bombs, and they will do just that. Certain enemies will go to it, and they'll even start to attack it in some cases, which will bug out the AI. It's kind of funny to see what will happen, but... um. They are a very situational item. There's, there's very, very few instances where they're actually helpful. Especially in some of the later areas where um, the enemies are just way smarter. And as you can guess, they're not very well against enemies that aren't, you know, dumb. Like hollows. I almost got butt stabbed there. I would have been dead. Well, I guess it wouldn't have been. It wouldn't have been terrible. Anyway, um... So now, uh, we're gonna run uh, as fast as possible across this bridge. I think this has, like, okay fire resistance, if I remember correctly. We will kill this Hellkite Drake later, trust me. There's gonna be a time where we kill it, it's just not now. I'd rather not kill this thing at the current moment. Do your thing. You're boring. Okay. My face. Oh, are you serious? I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, damn it. Yeah, a uh, quick thing to note. Fire, whenever he uses his fire attacks, um, each one, depending on which one it is and how he attacks with it, they all do different damages. That one one-shots you, regardless of what it is. It's pretty stupid. But we're at an okay place, and we'll take this opportunity of him flying past to just run as fast as possible. Fucking arrows. His arrows have insane ranges. I think he's gonna come back here in a little bit. Which is okay. Oh, I should have got my blood stain, huh? How many humanity was that, and how much do I have? Seven. Alright, I can risk it. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna go for the blood stain. I'll do it later. Okay, I'm down here. Um, so this is a separate area. We use the basement key that we got from... It's the basement key you get literally right after, uh... Oh, uh, what is it? Right after the boar, if you do that thing where you go into the... Oh, uh, I can't remember. If you run before the hollow can close the big gate, because he runs and goes to try to do that, um, 
Ah, really? Really? Then you will, uh... I can't process right now. Then you can get that key pretty early and go uh, get it the easier way. Let me just look if this has fire resistance. Oh, it's got a lot of magic resistance. It's got more magic resistance than fire resistance. That's really weird. Alright, but we're also going to see what's over here. Somebody, please get me out of here. Somebody, anybody, help me. Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. How did this ever happen? Use residence key. And we'll talk to this guy. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Cool. So yeah. Did he say his name? I forgot his name. Um, let's talk to him again now. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorceries, and I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Cool. Anything else? Oh, hello. I'm fine. Yep, Bes alright, that's nothing else. So yeah, um, he'll be important later and we'll see him in Firelink. Um, he's a part of a kind of oh, side thing you can- Besides. I was trying to pick up the item. Um, He's a part of a side quest kind of thing um, that people refer to as the Heroes of Firelink. So yeah. Um, we will find one more person like that. Um, actually along this path of all things. So that's going to be pretty nice. Also, um, new introduction to a kind of new enemy are Torch Hollows. They are they're basically DPS enemies. They attack very fast. And if they hit you enough times with the item, with the armor that's not very fire resistant, it, it could hurt real bad. So I'll uh, try to avoid that. So he'll go back to Firelink Shrine. I can never seem to remember his name, though, for whatever reason. How many heroes you got? What? I'm recording, not screening. Oh. Wow. What the hell is that? Oh, right. That's another thing. Um, these are hollow thieves. As you can tell, uh, you little shit guys. So you have to be very careful to not give these enemies your back, as they will uh, backstab you. And I almost got um, parried. They will also parry you. They're pretty stupid, so don't give them your back or hit them when they're putting their knives up like that, otherwise they will parry you. Ow. These enemies aren't terrible, I'm just trying to avoid death for the sake of avoiding death. As you can, you can parry these enemies just like any others, but I don't really know how to do it very well. Hey, we got Hollow Thief Sites. Um, Hollow Thief Set. Uh, a lot, some people like wearing the Hollow, the Hollow Thief Set. Um, I find it a bit too hard to grind for, considering this is the only area where they spawn in. And then we also got the Mailbreaker. Mailbreaker is um, a piercing sword, so it works kind of like a rapier. But it's, it's I think, the shortest of all the rapiers, if I remember correctly. But yeah, we have more Hollow Thieves. And a dog. A lot of people hate dogs in this game. Um, I am one of them. I hate Dark Souls dogs. They're stupid. Any amount of dogs is too much. Alright. Our soul lost and dead, yay. Oh god damn it, that scared the crap out of me. Please no. Please no. Um I'm gonna go back here in a little bit to um the bonfire. Oh. Oh yeah, thief set. Target shield. Sweet. So, in that same area, we got the thief set, and the- that's a boss, by the way. Uh, actually, can I do this? 
I'm sure there's people here, right? While we're doing that, we can go over here, and let me, uh, I have humanity equipped, so I'll just use that to heal if I need, I'm actually gonna do it now, I have seven humanity. So, uh, we'll, we'll put that summon sign down. Okay. Um, there's a hollow, a hollow thief, uh, immediately to my left. There he is. Okay, come here. Why don't block with your shield there, dude? Um, another thing, uh, these guys have one of the better, uh, knives in the game, or daggers. Oh, I got the top. I guess I'll try wearing that. Um, they have one of the better tops of the game, or not tops, but, uh, daggers in the game, and it's a bandit dagger. Or, I, th I think it's bandit dagger. No, it's not bandit. It's something else, but, um, it stacks bleeding. So, uh, if they slash fast enough with it, it'll cause you to bleed. And hey, you look kind of cool. What are you doing? I think I already explained, um, summoning and how that whole thing works in, uh... uh traverse the white light, please. Thank you. Oh god, this guy's a noob. Oh, this guy's gonna die. Not a bad thing, just a thing. Did I have poise? I think I poised through his attack. Okay, can you roll correctly? I'm gonna die because of bad rolls, but you know. Right, he needs to heal me. He needs to heal in general, actually. Goddamn. Alright, I'm gonna use this. Hold on a sec. Okay, I'm coming! Oh yeah, that's another thing. Uh, I got the black eye orb. Sorry I didn't explain that earlier. I got the black eye orb from the dingy set from the dead firekeeper. Okay, I'm trying to avoid getting flattened by the Capra Demon. Capra Demon has no real relevance. Um, one of the... It's like, I think it's the only other boss that doesn't have relevance to the story here. It's just kind of a demon wandering around. Oh, Jesus. I gotta say, the Partisan's doing pretty well. I don't, I haven't seen anybody use it, like, at all. It's not terrible, though. It's really not bad. Play. E. Yay! Oh. oh, I can't rotate the camera. Damn it. So, the main reason I did that, of course, was to gain humanity um, from that thing. It didn't make me human, though. I th I thought I it made you human, but I guess not. So, uh, we can't go here yet. It's locked. We need to kill the Capra Demon to do that. But uh, I will do that in a second. I just want to be human because, uh, as you saw, that Capra Demon had two dogs with it, which are kind of annoying considering they can stack bleeding and they attack really fast. Not really pleasant. Um, this interesting selling person. Alright. I don't really want to buy anything, but charcoal pine resin's a bit overpriced. That's funny. I forgot that she said ladder last depending on your gender. That's interesting. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I don't really need to be human. I will unlock this real quick and just run back, though. Uh, whenever you win in a fight, your items that 
rec that recharge at a bonfire, so your spells and your Estus will completely heal back. Um, <coughs> if you kindle the bonfire, um, you will still get 10 uh, Estus Flask out of it, as long at, as it was near the bonfire that the boss is on whenever you completed it. Now that, that does look pretty bad, pretty laggy. I'll fix it in a little bit though. And I'll fix it in the next episode though. I want to keep it because the quality is good, except for it's really laggy. So yeah, let's try to fight this thing on our own. Now, um, I'm gonna hold my shield up here for a sec. I'm gonna run over here, roll, and we're gonna go over here. So I'm gonna turtle. What? I'm gonna. What? 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. I poised through his attack again. All right. See ya. I don't know what happened there, but I'm glad it wasn't bad. These guys will follow you up here, just turtle stab them, and then, uh... There's a Capri. Oh. And then you can do this. I failed miserably. Got it. Why did you roll? You stored roll, you bastard. Okay, you're gonna follow me? Are you not? You're gonna follow me. Alright. I'm trying to do a thing where I can get a plunging attack on him every time. Yeah. That's gonna take forever, though. I think I'll just fight him normally. Or, or Heavy Solera. How's that work? Very damn well, actually. What, can you attack, please? I'm getting input lag like hell. What the hell? Solera's. Lady. Oh, air. That does fairly well. But I stag I staggered him. <laughs> oh, I got hit by that. And how did he not get by hit by my attack? Ah, that back. All right. Let's just stab him. Why did I drink? That wasn't very smart. I think that will shield break you. That one attack he does will shield break you. Yeah, uh, killed it. Sweet. Cool. We got stuff. We got souls. So, um... I'm gonna go ahead and head to a bonfire and fix the lag issue. Uh, I will meet you back at a certain bonfire, and in the next episode we will go to the... down there. Which is another part of the bonus area. So, uh... or an optional area, rather. So I'll see you guys then.